see here. All right. So can you state your name? Yeah, my name is my name. Is that I should mention my name? Huh? What did you say I should do? State your name. My name. Yeah. What is your name? Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, my name is Henry. Henry Anu. Uh, level four hundred students. Um, reading information studies and then. Uh, I'm, I'm actually majoring in information studies and minoring in political science. Minoring in political science? Yeah. All right. How old are you? I'm um, 24 years. 24? Yeah. All right. Cool, cool, cool. All right. So I got a couple questions for you. And question number one is, what do you think about the future of Ghana as a nation? Well, I, I think um, Ghana is um, going, like, we have a great future if as, as compared uh, to um, other countries um, in West Africa and in Africa at large, you realize that um, we are virtually uh, practicing the, uh, the, the democracy as a um, practice in other parts of the world, like the Western countries and the United States and all that. Mm -hmm. You can see our elections yesterday, although some people had problem, um, problems with the um, outcome of elections, yes. it's, 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 it went well. As observers who came to observe the election said that um, it went well and everything was okay. So I think Ghanaian, uh, like Ghana uh, as a country, we going a great, um, like we have a very bright future. Yes. Yeah, we have a uh, bright future as compared to other countries um, where you see war uh -huh. simply because uh, people don't really understand. Where you see uh, war and all that simply because um, people have uh, different religious um, view and, and all that. So I think we're going great. How do you see the future uh, for young people, for like yourself, you know, for young people to be able to create success and have opportunities out there for themselves? How do you feel about the future of Ghana in that aspect? Well, I, I think that um, we really don't have um, a, a lot of um, opportunities and jobs. You can see there are a lot of, um, I, I, I'm just fine, there are a lot of graduate unemployment. Yes. We have problems with people who are not um, working, who finish school and then they don't get a job. But I think it's not really, um, uh, it's not uh, only Ghana, even when you go to the bigger uh, economies like US and Germany and all that, uh -huh. and UK, they have similar problems. Yes. So I think it's not really um, uh, a big deal, or it's not really a big problem or whatever. But then, uh, we have uh, a little problem with um, finding jobs and all that. It's really for those who, who are doing the humanity courses. But with the sciences, those doing engineering, they have a um, job waiting for them outside there. Yes. But some of us uh, reading the uh, humanities, like information science, political science, it's very, very difficult for us to get jobs. So, well, yeah, I think that's, that's what I think the uh, okay. future house for people like us. What do you think can be done to, uh, to, uh, to solve this problem? What do you think well, can be the done? Government, first of all, the government uh, ought to create jobs for um, uh, people. The government must create jobs for the young people coming, and also the government must try to um, do uh, educate us like the, the, our um, education this system must be structured such a way that um, uh, when you finish school you can easily get a job. See the uh, sciences and all the those doing engineering. Yes, is that like it's more of a practical apprenticeship. So mm -hmm. when you finish, you have a ready job and all that. But ours is more of a um, reading. So you read. Pass, you go and forget. It yeah. shouldn't be so. I think that we need to structure our education system so that um, when we finish school, we'll be better off to get a job to do. And then also, the government to also create more jobs. I think the government can do that. So, we need to create more jobs for us. The jobs are not really uh, enough. And we have people finishing school and then they're not getting jobs. Do you, do you see the current government, uh, anything that they're doing? Do you know? Do you see anything, anything happening right now? That, that, that can help this? Yeah, yeah, the government is, is really doing a great job. If you look at the ICT projects that they're doing, they're really giving us um, computer, they are giving laptops, sharing laptops for free for stu students to uh, help them with their ICT problem and then uh, uh, listen, research and all that. We realize that we are in, the, we are in, uh, in an ICT um, world where most of the things that we do has to do with ICT, ICT. So the government has done. Um, something about the ICT aspect. Uh, yeah, I think they, they've helped students now, especially the needy students who don't have access to um, laptops and everything. They've helped us. Myself, I have one laptop from the government, mm -hmm. and I think it's a plus. And then they're also doing, they're also eliminating schools and the trees. That is not really our level, but it's also okay. It's okay. 
uh, schools are not trees, as senior high schools are not trees, mm -hmm. and, 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 and a lot. I, I think they've done they, they, they oh, do. it. Okay. Uh, where do you see yourself at in the future? What are your hopes and dreams? Um, <laughs> hopes and dreams, yeah. I, I actually want to be um, a radio um, presenter, a journalist, yeah, journalist and whatever. And I've really done, I'm, I'm doing, I'm working towards it. I'm just um, doing uh, uh, my attachment in a radio station. So I'm really into um, this radio um, work. I think that, that's the reason why I've been. Uh, information. Yes, I'm really into information studies. Uh, so, journalism and then uh, this radio, radio work. I think I'm, I'm, I have the interest in there. Okay. I'm also good at organizing. I'm the organizing secretary for my, my department, my association. We have an association here called Information Studies Student Association. So I'm, I'm into organizing and then also uh, journalism. Yeah. Journalism. Oh, you into a lot, man. So, Got it going on. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, so, future hopes and dreams. Uh, sorry, hold on one second. Do you do you plan on staying in Ghana uh, after you graduate? Or would you like to? Yeah, I I will do my service uh, after the graduation. I'll do my masters in Ghana. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, I think Ghana, Ghana is Ghana is good. The only time maybe I'll go outside the country as well, maybe um, holidays. Yeah, because I have. Uh, people outside the country, yeah, yes. holidays, and maybe perhaps if I want to broaden my horizon, maybe uh, I'll go there for maybe studies and whatever. But then I really want to do my uh, master's here, here in the University of Ghana. All right, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah. I appreciate your time, and uh, that's pretty much it. Unless you want to add something else. Oh yeah, Ghana. Ghana is really a very peaceful and a nice country, as you can see. Uh -huh. Yes, um, especially with the. Uh, the elections that we had, most countries have not reached this far. I mean, we are surrounded by Togo, Ivory Coast, and Nigeria, and all that. Most yeah. countries in the West African states have not really got to this side. Yeah. So Ghana, have, we, we've really come a long way, and I, I think that um, it's a very peaceful country. Yes. You are welcome. Thank you. Yeah, thank really you. Thank you.